All right, hey, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I'm giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. Double honors on to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule exceptionally well. And also Shalom. Uh, citations, mercy, and blessings to all you sincere brothers out there that push this word with truth and with faith. Uh, my name is Thabua Amath of Great Millstone Northwest. Um, back with a uh, another video. Uh, Lord willing, this won't be too long. And Lord willing, uh, this will be edifying. All right. And as you can see here on the screen, I have uh, the book of Judges, the fifth chapter uh, pulled up. All right. Um, and really what I want to get to is right here on the uh, the 11th verse, which uh, gives a statement that uh, we're in a rehearsal for the righteous acts right now, man. OK. Um, so matter of fact, without further ado, let me go ahead and just read the scripture. This is uh, Judges chapter five, verse 11. It says they that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the place in the places of drawing water. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages in Israel, then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Okay, now a place of drawing water is uh, a place where you're serving a um, uh, you're serving uh, uh, some type of uh, captivity. All right, you're serving underneath someone. If you're if the, if you're commanding someone else to go and um, and draw water, that means that you are um, you're over that person, man. All right, whether it's your child, because that used to be a common chore for children, is to go draw water. All right, or uh, uh, maybe you have uh, some daughters and you'll have them go and draw water, which is uh, especially back in the ancient world, you'll hear a lot of uh, a lot of cases of women being at the well. All right, even in the scriptures themselves, there's a lot of examples of women being at the well, and um, uh, the reason why is because they were uh, going uh, to draw water. Okay. They were going to draw water. In fact, um, uh, our forefather uh, uh, Isaac, for Isaac, uh, for his wife, all right, for his uh, wife Rebecca, she was found at the well. Okay, Abraham sent his servant, and his servant found her uh, uh, at the well. So that's just an example. All right. Uh, so the place of drawing water is a place where we're serving a captivity, and the main captivity that we're serving at to this very day is the captivity. Underneath Esau Edom, which is spearheaded by this country, America. All right, that's the place uh, where it's going to be the noise of the archers at, man. All right, that's where the noise of the archers is going to be because those missiles is going to rain down. It says they that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the place of drawing water. All right, so the place of drawing water, there's going to be people that gets delivered from the noise of the archers, and that's going to be the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay. It says, uh, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. And that's what we're doing. We're rehearsing the righteous acts, man. And sometimes it seems as if some people um, lose sight of the fact that we are indeed in a rehearsal, man. We are in a rehearsal and none of us is perfect. Granted, we are striving for the mastery. We are striving for perfection. But there is not a single one of us that is here upon the earth today that is uh, that is perfect, man. The only one that was perfect that walked this earth was Jehovah Shai. All right. So here it is. We're we're doing a re we're doing our rehearsal. We're rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord, man. All right. So you can't be you can't be so because you got to remember. And this is just this is just me speaking uh, generally, not not uh, because there's any type of event or uh, some type of. Um, of an action that brought this about, but we have to remember that the way you judge people is the way you're going to be judged, man. All right. If you're so uh, hardcore and, and stone cold uh, and judging everything without mercy, well, that's the way that you'll be judged. Okay. That's the way that the heavenly father will judge you. All right. Let's, um, let's look up in here. I pulled this up in the blue letter. All right. Judges chapter five, verse 11, um, to go to this word, uh, rehearse. OK. To go to this word rehearse, it looks like it's the Strong's, um, the Strong's H8567. And the word is um, uh, Tana. Tana. OK. It says. Um, it says, uh, let's see, the Strong's info Tana. All right. Uh, primitive root identical with 
through the idea of attributing honor to ascribe, uh, meaning praise, i.e. celebrate, uh, commemorate, lim lament, and rehearse. And that's what we're doing. We're doing all of those, okay? Us here, the, the men that uh, uh, take up the mantle of actually being an Israelite, not uh, doing it for uh, just to be a part of a, a group or doing it as a fad, but realistically identify uh, uh, and recognize that the spirit that dwells within them is a spirit uh, of, of an Israelite, the chosen people of the Heavenly Father. We're the ones that's, that's doing all this. We're the one that's attributing honor to the Heavenly Father. We're the ones that's praising uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, for, for giving us an opportunity to be able to be co-heirs with him in the kingdom of heaven. All right. We're the ones celebrating that that the Most High didn't uh, uh, leave us in that funk of believing that we were just, you know, African-Americans or so on and so forth, man. All right. We're lamenting for the fact that we've gone off. All right. And we're rehearsing the actual righteous acts, man. All right, we're we're we are rehearsing uh, the ways that's pleasing unto the heavenly Father. Now, in a rehearsal, you still have time to um, uh, you still have time to 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 make a couple of mistakes, man. All right, anytime the, the rehearsal is the time for you to work out all those mistakes, man. All right, because when is when the curtain actually goes up and that crowd's there, that's not the time to be fumbling around. All right, you should have worked out all of that through um uh uh through rehearsal or through practice okay um looking here off of uh, uh marionwebster.com this is the word rehearse uh definition of rehearse to say again repeat and that's what we're doing we we go out there every single week man all right uh, uh through the weekend and and during the week itself we also do videos like the one I'm doing right now and uh, we, we say it over and over again and we repeat ourselves over and over again. And what we're really repeating is the scriptures. OK, it says to recite aloud in a formal manner. Um, it says uh, to present an account of. All right. Uh, relate uh, to recount in order. All right. To give a rehearsal of to train or make proficient by rehearsal to perform or practice as if in a rehearsal. And we're doing all of that, man. All right. And the things that we're performing, the things that we're practicing is righteousness. Things that's actually pleasing to the Heavenly Father. We we don't seek to go uh, out of our way to find uh, things that, that we know the Heavenly Father uh, isn't down with, man. All right. In fact, we, we distance ourselves away from stuff like that. All right. That's why we cannot be uh, a part of this world. All right. Even though we're in this world, we are uh, uh, we are separated, man. And that's 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 all, man. That's all the water y'all about shim y'all shy because this world is getting uh uh more vile by the minute. Okay, it's getting more vile by the minute. Anyway, jumping back to um these scriptures, this is this is something uh, uh that we should be having in our head is that we're in the 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 uh we're in the works of a rehearsal right now, man. All right, even even in the rehearsal, you know those actors they may have gotten picked and they may not quite be secure in their slot yet man all right it's just like the preseason for football you all right they may have picked up all these these new uh athletes but that doesn't mean that everybody that they picked up for the preseason is actually going to make it uh uh to be a uh, uh you know to, to be a, a cut on the team man some people may still get disregarded and that's that's what we have to have in our mind right now is that hey look just because the most high opened your uh eyes for you to realize that you're an Israelite that doesn't mean that you you made it or that you got it man at the same time this is a rehearsal so we're not supposed to have it where we're, it's so uh, uh stone cold uh set in where if a brother makes a small little mistake that that's the the end all be all for him man all right we're supposed to have mercy and we're supposed to be able to uh work uh, with each other, okay, because our righteousness uh, truly is as filthy rags. That's written in uh, Isaiah the sixty-fourth chapter. Let's go ahead and grab that. Isaiah chapter sixty-four. Uh, what was that around verse uh, five? Um, no, nope, Salak verse six. Isaiah chapter sixty-four, verse six. It says, "But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags." And we all do fade as a leaf and our uh, iniquities like the wind have taken us away. So all of us is guilty of, of having righteousness as filthy rags, man. We're, we're, we're all defiled. OK, 
We're all defiled. None of us is clean. We haven't been clean a single day uh, that we've been upon this earth. All right. You got to think about that, man. In this current captivity, this current lifetime that you're in right now, the body that you're in right now, you have not been clean a single day this entire time you've been on this earth, man. All right. Because you've either been around some type of unclean woman. You've you've eaten some type of unclean thing. You've touched some some unclean thing. All right. We don't live in a society that that allows for us to to be clean, man. All right. Back in the day, man, when the children of Israel wanted to talk to the Heavenly Father, they had to cleanse themselves. They had to purify themselves. The males, they had to stay away from their wives for three days, you know, so that way they can be clean, man. All right. We don't have that type of uh, that type of luxury, man. Granted, you can stay away from your woman for three days. Sure. But that doesn't mean that. You know, uh, the clothing that you're putting on is, is clean or you touching the doorknob to, to the building wasn't touched by somebody who was unclean, you know, or so on and so forth, man. You got to pull out your damn uh, your your wallet. All right. That that debit card. Who's to say that, the you know, you you're using your debit card in this uh, in the card reader. Who's to say the person that was in the car uh, used the card reader right before you? Who's to say they was clean, man? All right. When they touched it, it became unclean as well. All right. It's just impossible for us to be clean in this type of society. All right. That's all thanks to Esau Edom. So all of our righteousness is as filthy rags. None of us is clean, man. All right. Not one of us, man. What's that? That's uh, Romans the 10th chapter. I'm sorry. Uh, Romans the 3rd chapter, the 10th verse. Let's grab that real quick because that illustrates it perfect as well. All right. For anybody who may get big headed, see, this it's not a thing. This this truth isn't about getting big headed and thinking that you're better than anybody. And it's also not a thing where uh, you get into it and then you're supposed to just get dogged all the way down, man. All right. You got to find a, a balance. This is Romans chapter three, verse 10. It says, as it is written, there is none righteous. No, not one. All right. And th that hey, there is none righteous. No, not one. Only one that was righteous was Jehovah Shai. OK, that's why we need Yahweh Shai uh, to, to be batting for us, man. OK, that's why we need Yahweh Shai to be batting for us. All right. Um, what is that? Titus, the third chapter. Let me grab this real quick. Uh, Titus, chapter three. Um, verse three. OK, actually. I'll, um, I'll, I'll read up. This is Titus, chapter three. I'm going to start at verse one. It says. Put them in mind to be subject to principal principalities and powers, to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. And you see, when brothers get into this truth, we learn how to do that. All right. You don't come in knowing how to do that, but you do learn uh, through the patience that the truth uh, works with you uh, how to be uh, peaceable and meek. Uh, unto all men, even though you're, you're looking at this this damn Edomite, you know it's an Edomite. That Edomite knows he's an Edomite. All right, that Edomite may be very rude and everything, man, and you may just keep your composure. All right, and the reason why is because you you're executed uh, or you're exercising this truth, man. All right, verse three it says, "For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving uh, diverse lust and pleasures." Living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of the Heavenly Father and Yahweh, our, our Yahweh Shai, our Savior, toward men appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Spirit. All right. So the, the only reason that we have any of this is through that grace. And that mercy that's being shown to us uh, uh, through Yahweh Shai, uh, uh, by the Heavenly Father, through His Son, Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, which He shed on us abundantly through Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, our Savior, that being justified by His grace, we should be made heirs according to the, herp, the hope of eternal life. All right. So that's, that's, that's a, a, a beautiful thing, man. All right. That's the reason why we strive uh, uh, to uh, uh, rehearse these righteous acts. All right. We strive to rehearse these righteous acts because truly we're grateful for the fact that we even have a shot. All right. Because the most high will be justified if he was to say hey, to hell with Israel. He will be justified in that, man. All right.
he would be he would be greatly justified. But the water to Yahweh um, that he you know uh, gave us a way out uh, via Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and the water to Yahweh Shai for actually uh, taking up that mantle, man. All right, for being able to 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 uh, 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 fulfill that role. All right, hey, but pretty much that's the point, man. I didn't really uh, want to go this long. Um, but I wanted to get this message out there. Lord willing, this is a uh, this has been received, and Lord willing, this has been edifying. All right. Um. Again, the praise and the glory goes unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule uh, exceptionally well as great examples of how an Israelite man should be here upon the earth in this day and age. And then also Shalom, citations, mercy, and blessings to you, sincere brothers out there that's following after that example. All right. Until next time, Shalom.